Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Pro Detective video and today we're pitting two finishes against each other head to head to help you understand which one is better suited for your end application. Today we are comparing media blasting and vibratory finish as bare metal finish options. So you've got projects that you have to keep moving, and at Protocase we aim to be your ultra-fast one-stop shop for sheet metal manufacturing and CNC machining, so you don't have to waste time finding multiple vendors to get the fully finished parts that you need. We do offer many different finishing options in-house, including a few different bare metal finishes. So to begin, we may want to do a quick recap of what a bare metal finish is. It is when a part, enclosure, or panel doesn't have a secondary finish like powder coat applied. For today's Prototech tip, we're going to compare two specific bare metal finishes, media blasting and vibratory finish. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of each and will be able to decide which one is a better fit for your needs. So on the surface, see what I did there? Both finishes have similarities, but there are some key major differences. We'll compare both finishes by looking at their application process, end result, maximum and minimum part size, the cost, and the ability to add additional finishes and marking. First up, let's look at the application process. To apply media blasting, we first deburr and clean the part and then spray a steady stream of tiny glass beads via compressed air. The end result is a bright, smooth, and uniform finish that's flat and non-directional. Media Blasting does an excellent job of removing tooling marks and other scratches. Now on the other hand, to apply a vibratory finish, the parts go through a vibratory machine with an abrasive medium that smooths over the part. Vibratory finish imparts a random pattern onto the part and rounds over the edges very well. It produces a look very similar to frosted glass. And next, you might be wondering, what are the best use cases for each? Vibratory finish is a top choice for a random, non-directional bare metal finish. It can be used for both sheet metal and machine parts. However, on the other hand, media blasting is more commonly used for machine parts, but can also be applied to sheet metal too. The only caution is that for media blasting, it isn't recommended for large, thin sheet metal because there's going to be an increased risk of warpage. And next up, what about the part sizes? As with virtually every process within our fast custom manufacturing, there are maximum and minimum part sizes to keep in mind before you decide to choose either media blasting or vibratory finishing. For media blasting, the maximum part size allowed is 6 inches by 6 inches by 6 inches. You have more room with a vibratory finish where the part size can go up to 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. When it comes to the minimum part size, for media blasting, at least one dimension should exceed 2 inches. For vibratory finish, the part must have a cross-sectional dimension of at least 1 inch and a length of at least 3 inches. Now moving on to materials, media blasting is most commonly used for aluminum, but can also be done on stainless steel parts as well. For copper, the end result looks very bright and sophisticated, but there's two important things to note here. For one, your media blasted copper parts will still eventually corrode because they don't have an additional finishing process like tin plating or resicoat applied. Secondly, media blasted copper is very prone to fingerprints and smudges, so we do recommend handling with protective gloves. On the other hand, vibratory finish cannot be applied on copper. Every other type of metal is okay for a vibratory finish. Now, in terms of pricing, it's important to say off the hop that because everything we do is custom to your design, we can't say definitively pricing for one versus the other because it does all depend on what you're looking to get manufactured. However, generally, media blasting costs more than vibratory finishing simply due to the time that it takes to media blast when compared to completing the vibratory operation. Now, we are happy to quote you both options so that you can compare. Now, let's look at how both finishes are similar. One similarity is that we can apply either silkscreen or digitally printed graphics on your parts if they have been through media blasting or vibratory finishing, so as long that it's a flat surface. You can also opt for laser marking or engraving fill on flat surfaces of parts and enclosures that have undergone media blasting or vibratory finish. But you'll just need to note the material constraints. Laser marking is available on aluminum and stainless steel. Engraving fill is available on aluminum. 
Now before we wrap up, I do want to remind you to check our website out at protocase.com to find out about the various manufacturability constraints that you need to keep in mind while adding a bare metal finish to your part or enclosure. Additionally, if you do want to learn more about our bare metal finish options, get in touch with your Protocase account manager directly or email us at info at protocase.com. So thanks for watching this week's Prototective video. See you again same time next week. And in the meantime, if you do enjoy your content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.